Furry conventions are for adults only. Are they though? Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. I made it to furry. I'm gonna check out the convention and be super unbiased and see if it is for adults or it's for everybody. Let me jump in here and explain why I'm at Furry and not Megaplex in Florida. Well, Megaplex is already 18 plus and I needed to go to a convention where everyone could go. And I chose Furry. Why did I choose Furry? Well, Furry is a very notorious convention. Actually, Vice did a whole article about how this place is like sex, drugs, and all that kind of stuff. And actually one of the people that they uh, partied with was one of my friends. <laughs> Let's go back to this notorious convention, Furry. Let's go! What is all this? I'm uh, at OrcStyle on Twitter. Uh, we sell orc tusks and horns. We're going to be at Edmonton Expo uh, this fall. And uh, we're at Furry, having an amazing time. Full of beer, burgers, and booze. I guess it's time to go check out the dance competition. I have not seen one in years, and I have no idea how to film it. Uh, good luck to me. That was the dance competition. Hopefully I filmed it okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I uh, actually was really impressed. What did you think? Not hotel. Cement truck thing. Beautiful, what a beautiful thing to do on a Friday night. It's getting later into the night and apparently they do a thing called the Midnight Howl. Um, yeah, let's go howl. Last night, I didn't see anything crazy. I saw a lot of families, saw a lot of fun. There was adult things, but it was like in certain areas and you had to be a certain age to go to them. But in the public spaces so far, I haven't seen anything that would say that there's adult themed things happening. But today is a big day. Maybe I'll catch more. It is party Saturday. Here we go to the fursuit parade. I'm gonna go check out the Furry musical. I don't think I've ever seen that at a con before, but apparently it's all original and everything. Let's check out the musical. I don't like musicals, so I'll try to like it. Okay, what's wrong? I don't know. Maybe Furry isn't right for me. Well, you'll never be cool without at least 10,000 followers and a cool event species. But you can bet before we're through, I'll make a poppy fur out of you. I'm furry, I'm weird, 
Get used to it. Tell me that was a doll. A really, really great musical for somebody that's new to furry, even if they're not, but it is really great for that. So another thing that if you made this 18 plus and somebody that was younger and newer to the fandom would not have been able to go to that musical and probably got a lot out of it if they were new. So it's, it's just another reason I, I, I don't know. I, I have a hard time. Anyways, let's see what else is going on on a Saturday night here. I'm gonna go check out the dance. Some dances are risque, some aren't. We'll see at the dance. Hooray. I'm enjoying the new asphalt between our room and a hotel. Not gonna be the best to walk with fursuit on. Hmm. So one thing you don't wanna do at the convention is go to the dealer's den on the last day. You can go there and get a great deal and meet some friends like this person behind me. But yeah, go to the dealer's den before Sunday and go back Sunday if you want the deal, but make sure you go or you're gonna miss out on everything. There's his boingy tail, and it's J and failed creations. That's awesome. Just put it on with the belt. Just went to the dealer's den. It was great. Totally G-rated. Not sure what people are talking about. I'm just gonna say I wrote a flowers. I wrote a flowers. It's my last day at the convention. So here's a quick summary. I'll probably need some time to think about this. If conventions should be for adults only. My quick answer, absolutely not. There are way too many people here that are impacted by these conventions that are here with families that are young, that are learning. Look, they even had a musical that was about being new to the fandom. That being said, there are certain conventions that should be 18 plus. For example, I was just at one in Las Vegas. That convention should totally be 18 plus. All of Las Vegas should be 18 plus. So it depends on the convention. Maybe the conventions could do like what arcades do for adults like at certain times like Dave and Buster's I know later at night it becomes for adults only and no more kids maybe they do that it's not for me to decide I'm just saying there has to be a solution versus just saying 18 plus and I really don't think government should be involved with that I'm going to stand by saying furry conventions are for everybody that's just my opinion if you don't agree with it leave a comment and explain your point. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, I don't know. But if you wanna know what happens at a furry convention and everything that goes on, I have a whole video about it. I'll have it somewhere right here. I'm pointing, you'll see it. Click on that video and it'll show you what happens at a furry convention and that one was in Las Vegas. Blah.